What does a $1200 microphone sound like? Hey guys, this is a $1200 microphone, the Sennheiser MPH416. So is this microphone worth $1200? Let's find out. Let's start with the unboxing. Not a lot inside here. It comes in a hard carry case with the microphone itself, a windscreen and a clip to let you mount the microphone. And that's about it. Now speaking of quality, this microphone is a production mic so it's built pretty good. But it's not just about the build quality, it's more of how this microphone sounds. And well, you've been hearing it this entire time. So let me know how it sounds in a comment down below. Now let's rewind a little bit. As I said, this microphone is a production mic. And if you ever watched a movie or a TV series, chances are all that audio was recorded using this microphone. Or in some cases, even something lower grade. But this thing is the industry standard for good quality audio. So you might be asking yourself why I need a microphone of this kind or why I would spend so much on a microphone like this. And to put it into simple words, it's because how this microphone sounds. And you're hearing it right now and it might not feel like something that's worth $1200 but just to put it into perspective, this is the built-in microphone from my camera. And now switching into the built-in microphone from my iPhone which I've been using for majority of the time I was shooting YouTube videos. And now back to the Sennheiser 416. Now you might not be able to tell in the Sennheiser but if you carefully hear the audio of my other microphones you'll see my room is very echoey. And the Sennheiser does an excellent job of removing most of the background noise and most of that echo. And all the audio you're hearing in this video is not edited, it's just normalized so all the levels are equal. And that's about it. Now if you're just starting out, I don't recommend anyone to go ahead and spend that much money into getting a microphone like this to get better quality audio. When I started out, I was recording all my audio straight into my iPhone and syncing it later in post. And on top of that, add a little bit of editing and your audio should be pretty decent. And trust me, if you have a decent smartphone, most smartphones have a better audio system than the built-in microphones in your camera. So I would highly recommend you to use your smartphone as audio recorder if you don't have anything else. So you might be wondering why I chose the Sennheiser. The thing is, I wanted to upgrade my gear a little bit more so I can give you guys a better quality video. And my two options were to either upgrade my current camera to something 4K or upgrade my audio system. And honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with my current camera. Most people won't even watch in 4K and where on the other side, audio is very underrated. You can get through a video that's a little out of focus, doesn't represent the best colors, the sharpness is a little off, but you can watch a video with poor audio, background noise, unclear vocals, or hiss in the background. So this is why I went with the Sennheiser. And don't get me wrong, there are a ton of microphones with good quality audio, but I wanted to invest in something that I can carry on with me and don't feel like upgrading every once in a while. And the Sennheiser is something I can carry on with me as I build and upgrade other gears. Now if you're planning to upgrade your audio, there are a lot of different microphones that sound pretty similar to the Sennheiser and they're half the price. You can go for something like the Audix CSX1, which is a studio condenser microphone, it's great if you're shooting indoors. I was actually considering this microphone and the Aperture Dinity which actually looks similar to the Sennheiser 416. It's the same size and dimensions and it's another great sounding microphone. But at the end, I made my choice to the 416 after considering many facts like resale value, ability to shoot indoors and outdoors, so that flexibility, build quality, not worrying about damaging it in high humidity environments, and much more. But the Aperture and Audix are still great options even today. And they're half the price, so if you're shooting indoors, it's a great option. But not gonna lie, other part of the story was I just wanted a Sennheiser 416. Although my needs for good quality could have been accomplished from something a little less, it was kind of like a brand name I just wanted, like you could drive a Nissan but you want an Infinity. Anyways, this microphone is a shotgun mic if you already didn't figure it out. And well, if you're planning to get this $1200 microphone, that's not the only thing you'll be spending. The 416 uses phantom power which means you'll need some type of audio recorder or something to supply that phantom power. So the overall audio setup is not cheap. And not gonna lie, the 416 is a little overhyped in the audio industry. You can spend a little less and still get decent audio for most part. And especially if you're just shooting indoors, there's so many other options like a lav mic that will cost you less than half the price. So at the end, I don't recommend everyone to get a 416 for good audio, but if you can afford it, it's great to have. It gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of shooting environments, really good audio, great build quality, and good resale value. And all that combined at the end make the Sennheiser 416 worth it.